Oi, Mel, look here. I need me a Gorkinal. A big, shooty, metal death box. With all the dacker. But, because of this old Nurgle thing going around, I ain't got no teeth. So you's gonna have to come up with something proper. I trust you, Mel. You and Zog did me proud last time with the old Maltinal. He's a beauty. I want something just like that. So Git Crump has set Mel a proper task this time. So he sets to it with every mech's weapon of choice, a custom mega glue gun. With an assortment of plastic card, bits, and an old scart lead, he cracks on. First up, he makes a box out of foam board with a custom mega glue gun and some inches from a beaky's box. Then he uses two Icarus Laz Cannon bases for arms. Then he sticks the Deathstorm Mega Shooter barrels salvaged from the Morkonaut kit into a bottle cap and sticks on some cardboard tubing. A quick side by side size comparison to see how things are measuring up. It's no wonder this job took him so long. So many bloody distractions in this here workshop. Come on, Mel, crack on, focus. He finally regains his focus and starts work on the claw arm. A few bits of plastic rod and a load of bits from his bits box. The front panel's looking a bit flat, but we'll sort that out later. Happy with the claw arm, the articulation looks nice. The red plastic sweep case ain't really doing the job as the tracks, but we'll sort that out later. The rest of it's looking all right though. He managed to find an old death copter that he can use as a gunner on the gun arm. Nice. He uses a jaw plate from a death dread and an old glyph off some orc barricades, I think, stuck to a bit of resin sprue. And that's the head sorted. He makes a massive wire banner out of foam, but it just ain't cutting the mustard. So we'll sort that one out later too. Out of some decent plastic card. That's better, a new war banner out of plastic card and an armoured roof panel and all. A nice bit of granny grating on the Grot Riggers maintenance gangway. And a quick blast with some black Vallejo primer. Some nice big horns on the front and a few spikes. We still got to sort out that flat panel at the front and then cruddy looking tracks. Some of the boys donate their rockets stuck in an old super glue cap to make the launcher. A bit of chain from the old wrecking ball on a truck, cause why not? Now it's time to sort out those crappy looking tracks. So he goes to town with some plastic card, making some mug guards to cover up the battle wagon tracks underneath. A bit more plastic card, some glyphs and some cabling to sort out the gun casing. He's starting to get a feel for this plastic card now, so he sorts out that flat front panel and makes up a nice glyph for the doors. Then he realises he needs a hatch to get in and out, so he turns to the internet and orders a nice resin hatch. Then Zog and the little gits throw on some paint. This job's gone on far too long. Git Crumpler's deadline's come and gone more than once. He can't wait no more. He wants to get this Gortonaut in the battle. So here we have it. 
big Mac Melzer tent at a Gorgonal. A bit of paint still drying, it's almost there. Hopefully Git Crump will be happy with this one. Nice one, Mel. Now it's time to go do some crumbing. <laughs> 